Good evening, Ernie. Thank you. Yeah. Wow, oh, you look nice tonight. Okay, thank you. No, let me get that. Thanks, Ernie. Okay. See ya. She tried to buy a lottery ticket at the liquor store. That didn't work, so she came to me, asked me to do it for her. Did you buy the ticket, Ernie? Considering how she looked, I thought it'd be better if I brought her home to you first. See what you wanted me to do. Thank you for that. Call me if you need me, Millie. The captain and I are old friends. Friends is a funny word. I'm looking for Charles Bach. Bach? He's been on your payroll for 10 years? You weren't a wire lieutenant. How about you? No. I haven't seen Charles in three years, not since my trial. I heard he went freelance. Frankie, you've been known to hold a grudge. Not this time. There was some talk on the street the fight might end prematurely. We moved some money around, adjusted the odds. It was actually one of the biggest paydays we ever had. I got no beef with Ray Regis. I am trying to save the kid's life. I don't know very much. Somebody was shopping a contract. I don't know who, but it was serious. Uh, Your Honor, may I? Uh, yes, you may. Uh, but, uh, I'd like to uh, request a 24-hour stay so that my clients may prevent evidence to... Uh, present or prevent? I'm sorry, forgive me, Your Honor. Let me correct myself. So my clients may present evidence to support the fact that they indeed had every intention of making a movie. Objection, Your Honor. Your Honor, I can explain tomorrow, believe me. It'll all be clear tomorrow. You don't have to apologize, just lose a couple of pounds. Thank you, Your Honor. It won't open, Victor. Show them what's got to be done. You got to go. And it's hard. I mean, you're, I could tell you stories. Where's your boyfriend, Ms. Mortensen? You know, if there's a problem, Vinny said, Mario, will take care of it. Boom, it's done. It is done. Time to go. Come on, Vin, five more minutes. Come on. Who's that guy parked out front? Oh, he's just a friend of mine. Well, your friend came by earlier and jacked me up looking for a guy named Blake. Did you did you let him inside? Yeah, to prove you weren't here so he didn't blow my face off. What'd you, what'd you say to him? He had a pretty convincing gun in my face. Look, Dave. You in some kind of trouble, Steven? You need me to call the cops? No, no, no trouble. I'm sorry I got you involved in this. There's no need to call the cops, okay? You know how much this club made last year? 30 mil. You think I'm still messing around with trash? And that's the end of this. You want to continue asking me questions? You're going to have to do it with my dream team present. Man, I was boy crazy. Yeah, well, I... What? <laughs> it wasn't until I moved in with Frank that I got real serious about my job. I saw you give him flowers one day, but I thought it was just a union thing. <laughs> Together for 18 years in March. I think it's best if we, we don't mention this to your father. <laughs> our, our Kiwanis picnic is coming up in, the, in a few weeks, and uh, him and I are partners in the three-legged race. <laughs> okay, good, good. So, wow, wow. Well, how come you don't advertise in the gay yellow pages? Do you really want to see me in a Speedo? <laughs> and what happened? They ambushed me with this... It's big story on bucks. They condemn my restaurant as unsanitary. It's the lead story on the news. My restaurant is closed. My reputation is destroyed. But those liars. Easy on it, Bob. The boy was up late last night partying. Oh, a wild party, huh? Yeah, well, I don't remember that well. Can't have been too great. I woke up alone. Yeah? Well, you know, the last time I partied like that, I woke up married, huh, Vinny? Uh-oh. Homicide, Ventura. <laughs> no, how are you going to solve that one? <laughs> Good question, Aguado. First, I'd establish a motive. In this case, the killer saw the size of the bug's dick and became insanely jealous. <laughs> then I'd lose 30 pounds. Park and his wife! <laughs> oh, you... Come on! <laughs>